Okay, I'm Steve and Kendra, and we are about to <laughs> do another hike, so we're going to kind of update you on what's going on, and we uh, brought the dog along with us this time, and we're about to hit the trail. All right, y'all, we're at the Basin Creek Trail, and we're going to start heading down this way and see how, see how this thing goes. So, going to leave the van, I mean the uh, Jeep, and move on up the trail. And here's the trailhead. I'll let you see it right behind me. We'll get a closer look at it in a second. I was concerned there was going to be some flooding up this way. Um, and I think there has been a little bit, but not, not the extent we were supposed to get from the hurricane. So, at this point, the trail looks really well. So, we will... Uh, get this thing going and uh, give you some updates as we go on the uh, conditions of these trails. Hey Charlie. We ready to hit the trail? Yeah. All right. We're gonna go straight here but the uh, Cedar Ridge Trail takes off to the right at this point. We're going to go straight up the Grassy Gap Trail. Um, first stop, Basin Cove Campsite. We're going to take a slight detour to check out this old um, mill. Alright y'all, here's a trail update. Um, about a tenth of a mile in, maybe two tenths at the most. The trail's been pretty much following this uh, small river, large creek, however you want to put it. Um, really beautiful trail, very, very easy so far. Um, I don't even think there's been a hill that I'd consider a hill so far on the trail. And I know this trail is listed as difficult, so I'm assuming that's going to happen before it's over. Um, I just kind of stepped down here to the creek to take a a video but let me get back up here to the trail so you can take a peek at it so and here is the uh, here's a good picture of the trail so far I mean pretty much just a road so uh, and of course the creek down here Okay, let's hit the trail. So I see you uh, dropped your uh, pants, <laughs> turned them into shorts. What do you think about the trail so far?
So anyway, we're just going to keep moving. Um, looks like there's quite a few campers here. We did see a church bus back at the uh, parking lot, the trailhead. And, uh, but I don't see anybody here, so everybody must be out on a day hike. Maybe going up to the cabin or same direction we're going, not sure. But, anyway, here's another campsite. Let's take a look at it. As I mentioned earlier, if you had someone who's never been backpacking before, this might be a really good trip. I mean, so far the road has been, we might have elevation gain of 100 feet, 200 feet at the most. And just been following the river on this wide path. And then the designated campsites are pretty well cleared. They have uh, storage, bear proof storage containers for your food. So at night you can lock your food up in the storage containers. Um, they're not trash cans. <laughs> so the last time I was here I could see somebody dump some trash in one which was kind of kind of silly. But uh, alright, well we're going to head on up the trail. I'll get a uh, video of the trail sign and then we're going to stick with the main trail this time and head up the mountain. This is all right here at the campground, but these trails all intersect. Here is the uh, Bluff Ridge Trail, 2.8 miles of the shelter and an overlook. But I believe we're going to head up Basin Cove. So we're going to head that way, which, or Grassy Gap Cove, sorry, Grassy Gap Trail is where we're headed. Seems to be a creek just past that fallen tree. And there's where the trail came in where you see those other tents. It's a fairly large uh, primitive camping area. I, I really didn't realize it went all the way down here. Okay, we just passed the primitive camping. Um, I don't know, tenth of a mile ago. And the trail is very similar to what it was before. It's basically a uh, two tracker meandering up through the woods. Now the creek to my left is only half as big as it was before because back there at the primitive camp, um, one creek, the Basin Creek, which has that cabin on it we went to last time, goes off to your right. And this Cove Creek um, goes off to the left. And this trail is actually following that. So it'll be interesting to see what this trail turns into. So far, um, very, very easy, very simple. No challenges whatsoever. Um, scenery though is beautiful. You know, sometimes an easy hike. Maybe instead of it being so challenging, you can sp we can spend time looking at the things around us. Well, actually on the challenging trails, we tend to do that to uh, take a break. Um, so anyhow, I'm gonna uh, get on up this trail a bit and I will keep you updated. Like I said. Feels good on the feet. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> forgotten how free the rocks were up here. What do you think of the trail so far? Pretty easy. It's just human. Yeah. Buggy. Like 
Okay, after the campsites, primitive campsites, the uh, trail headed uphill. Um, so, as you can see, I'm in the middle of a switchback. That's the hill we just came up, and that's the hill we're going to be going up. So, it is a very wide, comfortably walkable trail. Um, it is getting a little bit steep now but still quite easy because you're not having to walk on boulders and things like that. Some of the trails we've done that, are, that get steep, they're also tough, even if they weren't steep. So this particular trail looks like it's just going to be a roadbed the whole way. Um, but, you know, so far that's, that's it. It looks like we're going to leave the creek for a while. We're going to do a switchback and likely we're going on up the mountain. Now, the reason we picked this trail is supposedly there's a grassy knoll on the very top. So I'm assuming when we get up this hill or mountain, then we will then be in the uh, area that is why we came. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, since the trail's leaving the creek and uh, Kendra and I, neither one, have been on this trail before. We decided we'd go ahead and top off the water. So we're taking our first break on the trail. Um, I think it's about two miles in. Two and a half at the most. Uh, anyway, when we left the camp, the primitive camp area, uh, trail basically went flat for a while and then proceeded to climb the mountain. Now we're in the switchbacks. And um, hopefully, get to the top of this thing, we'll see what we came here to see, which is the, uh, the grassy balds on top of this thing. So anyway, I'll show you when we get there. Okay, we officially decided to make it a full break, which means we're gonna sit for a minute. Um, we have water and uh, seeds. So I put pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds in a ultralight water bottle <laughs> that I got from Circle K. So this works out good because you don't spill them. I think that was something I bought in Florida. Completely bottles. So what do you think about my invention? Pretty cool. The Arts. seed bottle. So. I like the pumpkin better than the sesame. When the bottle's empty, it doesn't really weigh. I don't know couple grams. So I just put seeds in a Ziploc bag. This one was really thin one you can collect really easy. Yep. <clears throat> but in a Ziploc bag you're always reaching into the bag, dropping seeds. These are roasted and salted so it's not like we're planting them anywhere. You can take the lid off of me. So anyway it's the first time I'm trying this and uh, so far it is a it is a winner. Those are just good. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so we got water a while ago, but obviously we didn't need to. Um, this trail has been kind of a spur of the moment for Kendra and I, so to be honest with you, we spent all of about four minutes looking at the map. So anyway, I'm glad we filled up the water about a while back, but um, the trail hasn't really changed. It's gone uphill a lot, um, but actually it was quite easy because it's, it's a, uh, a two-tracker. So. You're just dealing with flats and ups and you're not having to climb over boulders or rocks or stuff like that. So overall, this trail is still just very novice, very easy. It was rated as difficult and I think that may be due to the length and possibly the steepness. Um, but a, a two tracker to me would be very difficult to make it into a, uh, a difficult trail. So anyway, we're gonna head on up the trail some more. Um, as you can see, it is still just a wide trail. Um, I will see. All 
All right, we've been hiking uphill since we started or left the campsite, campsites back there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but we have been climbing and climbing and climbing. Um, we're now starting to see the horizon, seeing mountains off in the distance. And that's coming from being way down in the bottom. So um, I don't know how many feet it's been. I'll look it up when I go to post this video um, just to see how far we actually hiked or how what the altitude was. But anyway, just to kind of give you a look of the trail, um, it still looks about the same. It is, uh, you know, a forestry road. So I don't typically hike forestry roads. I think if I'd have known for sure that's what this was going to be, I may have picked a different route, but it's been very relaxing. Um, it has been uphill, a couple thousand feet up maybe. And, uh, but since it's a, a two tracker with grass in the middle, it's comfortable on the feet, not stepping over boulders and climbing up stuff. So it's, it's really been easy. I mean, if you want to call going up a couple thousand feet easy, but, um, yeah, it's been a good trail overall. So we're going to try to get to the top of this thing. And find us a place to hang the hammocks um, hopefully before dark we got a real late start today it was oh gosh it was probably 12 o'clock before we left the house and this is so we've only been on the trail a couple hours all right well i'll check in with you in a little bit It looks like the state forest or the state park actually uh, created a spring head, a little piece of pipe. They got it blocked off with some rocks and so probably a nice place to get some water. Um, we're less than a mile from the top of this thing so it's pretty cool that there's some really good water supply up near the top. Just, just a mental note for anyone that's going to hike this. I mean we got water at the beginning just to make sure we didn't run dry, not knowing the trail, but um, within Half mile to a mile to the top, nice spring just to refill your bottles. No, it's not a corrugated dance. It's a spider web removal. They are out and they are across the trail. So when you go first, you're on spider duty. y'all just checking in uh, we hiked on into the dark went to the top of the ridge hit the uh, mountain to sea trail and then found the uh, trail that's going down the mountain followed the ridge a while until we found the trail took a switch back and we stayed on the ridge and went out another hundred yards and found a flat spot to hang the hammocks so uh, I'll um, take some videos of the campsite in the morning and uh, see you then good morning y'all um, just uh, just woke up a bit ago, and uh, this morning it was raining, so kind of went back to sleep and waited for the rain to stop. Now it's just kind of drizzling. It's very foggy out here. Um, so I believe the sun is going to start burning through here in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get up and get breakfast going and break camp and uh, head down the mountain. So before I do, let me... Uh, just share with you a little bit about my setup um, <clears throat> let me show you here with the, uh, the way we have this camp set up with the tarps we actually let me just switch switch these okay here's the uh, hammock setup um, 
Kendra is on the other side. She's still actually asleep at the moment. Um, but let me get in here and show you what's going on. So, let's see Kendra over there. Good morning. So anyway, something new that we just got is this bug screen. Um, we've had various different ones. But what kind of makes this one neat is it does have the bottom entry. Which is different than my last one. I do like that a whole lot better. It's very easy to get in and out of. There's a little bungee cord down there you can tighten it up with. If you want to, but I find when you got in the hammock, it seals it. But this is what I found to be very nice about this particular one. Is it has an opening that's large on one side. And you literally can pull it over your under quilt and everything. So now, the whole bug screen is off on one side. Um, and if you were just hanging out or something, you wanted to use the hammock without the uh, screen, um, or you were fixing your underquilt or doing other things, you now have the ability to do that without this underquilt being in your way. And I wanted to show you this other end here. On this side, it has a very small hole, which basically meets up with the hammock and seals it. The other side has this elastic that allows you to seal it up on that end. But we've been very happy with this. This is our first time testing this out. For the fact that I can slide that screen off to one side and get it out of my way is really really helpful and as you can see with Kendra you can see how the bug screen kind of meets up underneath her under quilt and um, seems to keep the uh, the bugs at bay okay well just a different angle of the camp Okay, we're just about finished breaking camp. Um, Kendra's taking down her tarp so that we can uh, hit the trail. So this was a good campsite. There was no water here. That was probably the uh, only downfall of this campsite. We, we run out of water, so we had to hit the trail to go find some. Um, but other than that, it was a really good place to, uh, to hang out. It was actually uh, in the state forest, but it was right next to the uh, game lands border so as you can see with the orange stripes um, you know game management land is right here so uh, all right y'all we are uh, on Flat Rock Ridge Trail this is a very well built trail um, Looks like the Corps of Engineers made it. They have stone walls holding up the trail. Um, it's it's fairly steep grade in places, but not like most trails. It is uh, plenty of switchbacks to keep it from being so steep. As you can see, it's pretty steep here if you didn't have this type of trail. But um, yeah, we're. Uh, we're on our way out, it's still pretty foggy. And uh, just kind of amazed at how well built this trail is, honestly. Uh, I'll send, I'll have, add some pictures of some of the various things to it um, as well. See you in a bit.
Okay, we've made it to the top of the knob, and obviously there would have been a spectacular view from here, um, but all I see below me is white fog. <laughs> so we'll have to catch this view on another day. Um, yeah, so the trail is beautiful. Uh, it come off the parkway into a bunch of switchbacks, which were very well developed and designed. And then we climbed this knob, which had switchbacks coming up it, and we've crested the knob now. And I think it's going to be downhill all the way back to the Jeep at this point. So uh, we're just going to keep heading down the trail. And uh, we haven't gotten water yet because we've been on this ridge line. Um, but according to the topo, we're going to get down to water here shortly. So uh, we'll see you in a bit. Charlie, are we ready to go backpacking, Charlie? Huh? You ready? <laughs> 